Hi, I'm Richard Rogers, your Executive Director, and welcome to our Open Enrollment Webinar. Today, we're going to discuss the Open Enrollment options we have. They include Dental, Vision, Legal Shield, and ID Shield. Josephine's going to talk to you about how to enroll with the association because there's four or five different options that we have, and you can pick the easiest one for you. Laura's going to be here to discuss our dental plans. And she's also going to tell you some ways that you can save money in those dental plans as well. And finally, Tom's going to talk about our superior vision as well as our legal and ID shield programs. So welcome. And Josephine, take it away. Hi. Good afternoon. Thank you for that introduction, Richard, and welcome everyone to our first annual open enrollment webinar. We are going to discuss our dental vision and legal plans, as Richard mentioned, and we're also going to go through the ways that you may register for these wonderful plans. Um, as NCRGEA members, you have received this newsletter to provide this information. Current members also will receive, if you haven't yet, you will receive a letter in the mail explaining that if you would like to make some changes to your coverage that you can utilize those forms. And lastly, new retirees would have gotten an open enrollment booklet. By the way, um, if you have any questions during this presentation, you may type them into the chat box, which we will monitor during the presentation, and we will answer your questions at the end. Right now, I would like to introduce Ms. Laura Duncan. She is the representative from the Standard Dental Plan and Emeritus Network of Providers. Thank you for being here, Laura. Thank you for having me, Josephine. Thank you all for tuning in. Now I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the dental plan options that you have through the association. You have two options to choose from through the association. A high plan with a robust $2,000 annual maximum benefit and no deductible. This plan covers 100% coverage for your preventive procedures, which includes two cleanings, two exams, your bite wing x-rays, and your panoramic x-rays. It also offers 60% coverage for basic procedures. These are things like fillings, root canals, periodontal procedure, which has treatment for gum disease, and includes four perio perio maintenance procedures. Perio maintenance is also known as perio cleanings. One point I'd like to make about these is you get four in lieu of regular cleanings, so you can get two regular and two perio, or all four perio. It's also a maintenance procedure, so we cover it after you've had uh, periodontal surgery or other other periodontal coverage in the past. It doesn't have to have been in while you were covered under this plan though. You could have had it years ago. Just make sure that the very first time you file a period perio maintenance claim, you ask your dentist to include information about your perio treatment that you've received in the past as well as a date. We'll fill it in the system for you so we won't have to ask you for future cleanings. This plan also offers 50% coverage for major procedures, the big things, bridges, dentures, crowns. It also covers dental implants. We're also offering you an option for a lower cost, low plan. This plan offers $1,000 annual maximum benefit and a $25 deductible. Now this maximum benefit, this $1,000 maximum benefit, something unique to the low plan is that this $1,000 benefit is not reduced when you get your cleanings and exams or other preventive procedures. So you can get your two cleanings and your two exams, but you still have $1,000 left over for your basic and major procedures. The $25 deductible is also waived on preventive procedures. So the very first time you have a basic or major procedure done, your first, the 21st, first $25 is your responsibility, and then the balance is applied to the, to the co-pays. Preventive procedures, still covered at 100%, your two cleanings, two exams, your bite wing x-rays, and your panoramic x-rays. Basic procedures are at 50% rather than 60%. Still includes your root canals, periodontal treatment, fillings, and this has two periodontal maintenance or two perio cleanings. 
These are, again, are in lieu of regular cleaning. So you can have two regular cleanings or two perio cleanings or one in one, whichever works best for you. Major procedures are still covered at 50%, but I will point out the low plan does not have coverage for dental implants. Both plans can be utilized in or out of network. We do not reduce your benefits when you go out of network. It's the same maximum, same coinsurance, in or out of network. So you can choose any dentist you want to. People often ask Josephine and I what which plan's best for them. That's a personal decision and I encourage you to look at your own needs to decide. Um, oftentimes, if you think you need periodontal care or maintenance or you know you're going to need some big things in the future, the high plan might be a great choice for you. If you're getting just cleanings and exams each year, the low plan could be a good choice. Also, do you have other dental plan options out there? We do coordinate with other dental insurance plans. Or if you're looking at other options, I do encourage you to really look deeply at what those plans cover. So if you're looking at options that are low cost or even free, make sure you look to see what type of services are covered, specifically major services. Oftentimes, coverage that costs less doesn't cover replacement of teeth, and that's very important. Or it limits you to only seeing a dentist who accepts um, Medicare payments. So make sure that you're on a plan that will be there for what you need when you need to have a tooth replaced. This is important because most dental plans, especially ones geared towards retirees, have something called a prior extraction exclusion in them. Our plan has it too. What it is, is if your tooth was pulled prior to coming onto the plan, it's not gonna be paid to fill it in, for the initial replacement to fill it in. So make sure that you're on the plan that you want to be on when you get that tooth replaced before you have a tooth extracted. Now, if you currently have a bridge or a denture in place, that's okay, this doesn't apply to that. If you have a denture or a bridge in place and it's, it's years old before you come on our plan, that's okay. As long as it's at least five years old, it is eligible for replacement. Also, if you've been on this association plan um, through NCRGEA since January 1st of 2020 or before, this exclusion also does not apply to you. When you go out of network, Insurance companies have something called a UNC. Really what this means is usual and customary. Many people ask, well, what if my dentist charges more than what's considered usual and customary? And that's an excellent question. A usual and customary, I like to think of it as a ceiling. So what we do is we look at what average costs are in an area, and then we make sure that that ceiling, that usual and customary ceiling, is high enough to cover it. So for example, in Raleigh, North Carolina, we looked up the average cost for a a root canal, and it's between $1,332 and $1,485. What if your dentist charges uh, more? So basically, the average cost is here. Our usual and customary ceiling is higher, and we make sure that we monitor the average cost constantly to make sure that our ceiling stays higher than the average cost. Matter of fact, we make sure our ceiling is high enough that 90% of dentists' normal costs fit within it. Now, if your dentist charges more for that root canal, say they charge $1,550, that's okay. You're just going to be responsible for that small amount in between. So in this case, $13. So we'll apply our 50% coverage to the usual and customary $1,537 and you'll pay your 50% plus that extra $13 that was over usual and customary. So it's not that big a deal. But I do encourage you to look in network because that same procedure in network in Raleigh, our Raleigh dentist would only charge you $822 in network. So your out of pocket would only be $411. You save over $350 by going in network. Let me show you some other sample fees in Raleigh. So these are some commonly used procedures, cleanings, exams, x-rays, fillings, root canal, and of course the crown that typically goes on top of the root canal. You notice these average cost ranges and then our usual and customary ceiling. As you'll notice, that ceiling is above what you'd see as an average cost for that area. But also notice the usual and customary allowances. These are the dollar amounts that dentists that are in our network have agreed to charge you. They will reduce their fees to that level. It's a pretty significant discount. So I encourage you to look for a dentist and network or check to see if there's one in your area you can choose. Here's that root canal we were talking about earlier. Let's see what that looks like when you look at an entire year's worth of claims. Now this is just an illustration. It's not meant to be a summary of benefits or anything. It's really more just to show you how it looks to have a full year's worth of pretty pretty active dental work done. But let's look at this and say, if we went in network and we had 
cleanings, exams, and x-rays. So, and this is gonna show two cleanings, two exams, and two bite wing x-rays. And this is an example I'll point out where this is just an illustration. This illustration is showing two bite wing x-rays covered, and I do wanna point out, your plan allows one bite wing x-ray x -ray per year. It's more common to see two when you have a plan that has a lot of children on it. So this is what you, yours would be with one per year. Now looking at this, we have Dennis normal charge, and we're looking at two cleanings, two exams, two bite wings, a filling, a root canal, and a crown. Those dentist normal charges, and what we did there is these are sample charges. We just basically, if you remember those average cost range I showed you on the other slide, this is just taking a dollar amount in the middle just to pick a, an amount. So when you go in network though, that dentist is going to discount their fees. So this allowed amount, these are the discounted fees that these dentists in network would charge you. And you'd see this huge savings that you see, almost 50% savings for many of these procedures when you go in network. And the dentist just writes off these fees. These are not charged back to you and they do not come off your annual maximum. So this allowed charge is the dollar amount that we apply to your copay. So your cleanings and exams and bite wings covered at 100%, nothing out of pocket to you. Fillings, root canal, and crown all covered at their coinsurance. So 60% for basic, 50% for major. This is simulating the high plan so there's no deductible. If you notice, you're out of pocket, you've received over $3,400 worth of dental services for less than $760 out of pocket. Your insurance pays $1,222, leaving you with over $770 maximum that you can use for other services. Now let's compare those exact same services if you were to go to an out-of-network provider. Again, you can go to any dentist you choose. Network benefits are the same in or out of network. So the dentist normal charges, in this example, we're going to show the exact same charges. You'll notice the coinsurance is still the same, 100 for preventive, 60 for basic, 50 for major. But what's different is that the dentist out of network doesn't have to make those discounts. So you are responsible for the entire dentist charge. Now, we are using sample allowances, which are all usual underneath our usual and customary ceiling, so we're not worried about anything being over usual and customary in this example. We're applying the total amount of the dentist charge towards the coinsurance. And uh-oh, you went over your $2,000 maximum. So the insurance paid $2,000. Your out-of-pocket is $1,411. Uh, that's quite a bit more than what it was in network when it was only $759. Plus, you don't have any maximum left. Had you been in network, you would have had $778 of maximum left for other procedures. Some of the questions that we get a lot are, one is, is my dentist expensive? Are they gonna charge over usual and customary? How do I find a dentist in network? Or can I check if my dentist is in network? And does every dentist in network have the same discount? These are all great questions. First one is, is my dentist expensive? Good question, I don't know. So when you have a procedure done with your dentist, ask your dentist to file an estimate. You wouldn't get your car fixed without asking for an estimate first. Why would you get work done on yourself without asking how much it's gonna cost first? So ask your dentist, file an estimate, or we call it a predetermination of benefits, but the dentist will know what an estimate is. Ask them to file an estimate with us. It takes about a week. We will send you and your dentist a statement that shows exactly what we'll pay. If your dentist charge is over the usual and customary, we'll let you know. You'll find out exactly what your out-of-pocket is going to be before you have the work done. You can also check out our dental cost estimator, which I'll tell you about in a minute, to see if your dentist charge is within the average cost in the area. Now let's talk about those other questions, and let's look to see how you can find a de dentist in, in the network. So you'll go to the standard.com, and when you go there, I will pay, make a note that the standard utilizes the Emeritus Dental Network. So if you're talking to your dentist and asking them if they're in the network, ask them that they utilize the Emeritus Network because that is what standard utilizes. So if you go to the standard.com, you can click at the bottom of your screen to find a dentist. Now when you click on that, you're going to get a pop-up that looks like this. Don't worry, that's supposed to happen. You're being directed from the standard website to the Emeritus website. So go ahead and click continue to Emeritus. When you do that, you'll have an opportunity to put in your address and then click for the network that you choose, which is the classic PPO, which is the one that your, your uh, association is utilizing. When you do this and hit search, it will pull up a list of the 200 closest dentists to that address. Now, if you're looking to see if your dentist is in network, take a look at this black bar and click on that to open it up. 
When you do, you'll see there's a space for you to enter your dentist's name. Put your dentist's name in there and enter search, and you'll find if your dentist is in the network. If you can't find your dentist this way, pro tip, sometimes the dentist's name is uh, registered with us in a different way than what you entered it. So go back if you don't see them and put in the dentist address in this search line. Since we are going to give you a list of all the closest dentists to that address, if your dentist is a network, they should show up. So here I've, I've clicked on doing a search, and these are an example of the different dentists that show up in Raleigh, North Carolina. Notice the first one in green. Pay attention to that because the dentists who are in green have an extra discounting. So either they're a bigger discount than normal or they have higher fees and it's a, a very good savings off their normal cost. Also pay attention to the lower left hand corner of the card where you'll see a dollar sign next to the member, the little person in some of them. What this means is that this doctor or dentist will give a discount for a non-covered service. You'll notice there are three orthodontists on this search who have that dollar sign. So even if your coverage doesn't have orthodontia on it, which this plan does not, those orthodontists will still give you their in-network discount, which can be pretty significant. So it's definitely good to give them a call and let them know you're on the Emeritus Network and ask them what that discount could be. Also notice that some of these, well, you'll see a black bar at the bottom of their name, that means that there's multiple dentists at that location, and if you click on that black bar, it'll expand and you'll see all the different dentists that are listed there. Now, here's another little tip. Once This is only for members, so anyone can do this search up until this point, and you can look up today to see if your dentist is in the network or not. But once you're a member, you can also look to see what the dentists in network charge for each procedure, what our contracted fee is with them. This is really helpful if you're getting a statement from your dentist and you're just curious what you could save by going in network, you can actually look this up for yourself without actually having to visit the other dentist yet. While you're signed in, which we'll show you in a minute, click on the little tack that's in the top corner of the dentist you would like to look at. You can look up to three at a time to compare costs. You can then look up a procedure code and see exactly what that dentist charges. So here's an example of three actual dentists here in Raleigh and you'll notice I put in that same root canal code that we had before. And you'll see the first doctor, Dr. Wainwright, charges $822 for that root canal. That is exactly what I had shown on the other item. But you'll also notice there's an oral surgeon who charges a little bit more, but still quite a bit less than what your normal doctor would charge. And then Dr. Stevenson, who is the doctor that was in green, and you'll notice only $774 for that root canal. Now the way you can look at that once you're a member is by logging into the member portal. So go to the association website to get more instructions on how to log into the portal because once you're logged in, not only, I'm going to use my little handy dandy <coughs> tool here and check this out, not only can you look up your providers, you can also, if your dentist is not in network, you can actually click on this little icon that looks like this once you're logged in and you can nominate your provider to be in the network and Emeritus will reach out to them and ask them to join on your behalf. You can also click on this for the out of network dental cost estimator which will tell you what those average charges are in the area to see if your out of network dentist is um, equal to what norm most dentists charge in the area and here is the icon you, char you check on for that in network dental cost estimator that I showed you a minute ago. You can also get an extra copy of your ID card, get a copy of your certificate, check on the status of a claim or see how much maximum you have left for the year. Leave. That is all I have to talk about today. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much for that information, Laura. We now have Mr. Tom Cheswick. He is here with the uh, Mark III Enrollment Call Center, and he will talk about the dental. I'm sorry, the vision coverage and our legal products. Thank you very much, Mark, for being here. Thank you, Josephine. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Hi everyone, I'm Tom Cheswick from Mark III Employee Benefits in Charlotte. Um, we've been working with the association for over 20 years on a variety of voluntary benefits. And today I'm just going to talk real quickly about the Superior Vision Plan as well as ID Shield and Legal Shield. Uh, firstly is your Superior Vision Plan. This plan's been around for a number of years. It's a fully comprehensive vision plan. It'll pay for an exam every 12 months after a $20 copay. There's also a $15 materials copay, and this would apply towards standard single bifocal and trifocal lenses. 
Standard progressives are also paid in full after the copay. And as many people do, uh, a lot of people wear contact lenses, and you can get a $120 retail allowance towards contact lenses after the copay every 12 months. And of course, this is in lieu of lenses and frames. You cannot buy both. Uh, if you do need frames, there's a $130 retail allowance after the copay every 24 months. The plan also pays for uh, factory scratch coating in full after the copay. And when you use a network provider, uh, they are also going to give you additional discounts for any other uh, types of uh, things you buy. Maybe you want to buy a pair of sunglasses. Maybe you want to have some other things done with your frames or your lenses. They will give you discount if you use a network provider. And all of the benefits I just discussed are based on using a network provider. And in order to find a provider, you can see there in the bottom left, you can go to superiorvision.com or you can call them at the 800 number, 800-507-3800. The plan does pay out of network benefits, but as Laura was saying with the dental, your best bet and your best bang for your buck is to use an in-network provider. So uh, I highly recommend you find one. They have a very robust network in North Carolina and across the country. So whether you're out of town on vacation or, or live elsewhere, you can definitely find a provider. Uh, Superior Vision rates for 2022 are $6.99 a month for a member, $15.88 for a member and family. There is another way that you can participate with Superior Vision without uh, getting into the actual vision plan, and that is through the discount card. Uh, as a member of the association, you received a discount card, and if you go to a Superior Vision provider, they're going to give you um, a discount off of retail pricing. So while you're not going to get as deep a discount as in the vision plan, you'll still get 10, 20, sometimes even up to 30% off of retail by using your discount card. Um, if you don't have one, you can get in touch with the association office and they can get you one. Or if you happen to be at a district meeting uh, later on in the month, uh, I always have them at the table. Come stop by and I'll be happy to give you one. Uh, next, I'm going to talk a little bit about ID Shield and Legal Shield. Um, it's rare that you don't see on the news every week or so them talking about some sort of breach of personal information by a bank or a credit card company or who knows what. Uh, there are many ways to protect yourself from that, and ID Shield is a plan that does that for you. Uh, ID Shield is going to monitor your social media. Uh, they're going to monitor any time you're on the internet. Uh, they're also going to monitor the internet for the use of your name, your date of birth, your social security. So if someone happens to be searching for uh, doing a credit report on you, if somebody's acting you know, as they are you trying to purchase something and it shows up, you're going to get a message saying that somebody is messing around with your name or social security number and to confirm whether or not it's you. Uh, they also give you consultation, live support, 24-7, 365 days a year. So they are constantly monitoring everything to make sure everything's on the up and up with your name and, and your ID. Now, one of the biggest differences of ID Shield and some of the other uh, products out there, or even the coverage you get with your credit card, people will say, well, my credit card gives me identity theft protection. Well, they do, but... If something happens and your identity is actually stolen, the credit card company is going to tell you that it's stolen, but you're going to be responsible <clears throat> for restoring it and doing all that legwork. I've spoken to many people at the district meetings that have gone through this process, and it can take hours of time over months uh, to try to get this fixed. ID Shield provides you an investigator from Kroll Licensed Private Investigators and they do this work for you. So you're not the one having to do all this legwork. They also provide a $5 million service guarantee. Okay? ID Shield is available for $8.45 a month for an individual and $15.95 a month for a family. Lastly is the Legal Shield plan. And Legal Shield is a plan that is going to provide you with access to a lawyer. Uh, many people, most people, don't have a lawyer 
on retainer that they can call at the drop of a hat if something comes up. But Legal Shield provides you with a dedicated law firm who's going to provide you with advice, consultation. Uh, they're going to send letters or make phone calls on your behalf if you're having issues, some type of legal issue. They're going to re uh, review contracts and documents for free up to 15 pages. They're going to help you with any types of loan documents, wills, living will, healthcare power of attorney, and all those other little things that, you know, we hate, but they happen every now and then. Speeding ticket, IRS issues, divorce, separation, adoption. So you're going to have access to a full law firm uh, that's going to provide you with assistance for all these different uh, types of things that, that you definitely need legal representation for. Um, legal Shield is $15.95 a month for an individual or a family. And if you add ID Shield, you can buy them separate or together. If you add ID Shield, it would be $24.44 an individual and $28.90 for a family. Uh, one thing that we are definitely going to give you a lot of information today about is about the actual open enrollment and how you can enroll and when to enroll. So a little more information here again. The open enrollments from September 15th to October 25th. Any of the coverage changes you make or if you enroll in a new product or, or whatever, it will take effect January 1st, 2022. And again, if you want to keep your current plans, any of the plans we're talking about today, you don't need to do anything. You'll just roll over uh, into 2022. <clears throat> okay, there are some different ways to enroll. You've got two ways to enroll for Legal Shield and ID Shield. One is to complete the paper application and send it to the NCRGEA office. And the other is to call the Mark III call center at 833-444-5220 and they will help you get you enrolled. Here is um, the Legal Shield enrollment card. And basically, I'm just going to take a quick minute to, to tell you what you need to complete on this. In the upper left hand corner, you'll see select applicable subsidiary. You just check prepaid legal services there. Uh, the top portion under member, inf member information is fairly self explanatory. You've got your date, the last four numbers of your social, your name, your address, your date of birth, some information there about your spouse, uh, phone numbers email addresses and then in the middle of the page on the right hand side there is a place for you to sign as the applicant and also list your dependents if you're going to cover dependents um, if you have more than three dependents there try to fit just fit them in there somehow and they will be uh, that'll be fine now the bottom part of the page is the payment information unlike the dental plan and the superior vision plan the Legal Shield and ID Shield plans cannot be deducted from your retirement check, so you're going to need to set up payment uh, directly with Legal Shield, either through your bank account, through a bank draft, or through a credit card. So the bottom of the page has that information there. Now I will say this, if you're uncomfortable about putting that information down and sending it in, you can also call the call center and they will fill this form out for you and get that information and get you set up. Uh, for either the Legal Shield or the ID Shield plans. Now, back to Dental and Vision, four ways to enroll for them. Online self-enrollment portal. You can call the call center again from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday to Friday, 833-444-5220. You can do an online submission form through the NCRGEA website at ncrgea.com. Or you can do it the old-fashioned way and use the enrollment form that's in your enrollment book or the newsletter or a current enrollee letter, whatever you uh, may have received, and you can mail or fax that in uh, to the NCRGEA office. And once again, any questions you have on any of these products can also be directed to the Mark III call center at 833-444-5220. That's all for me. I appreciate everybody's time, and thanks so much. Thank you very much, Tom. That was some wonderful information about uh, Legal Shield products and Revision coverage.
Just to reiterate what Tom said, it is very important to note, if you are satisfied with the plan that you are currently enrolled in, no action is required. You do not need to contact us or send the forms in. We will just continue that coverage through next year. Now again, as Tom also mentioned, with the four ways to enroll, there are so many different ways that you could reach out to us to have this done. Uh, we do have the online uh, feature with the Mark III Employee Benefits Enrollment Portal. And as you can see, there's the step-by-step -step instructions on how you set a member ID and a temporary PIN. You can also call the Mark III Center and we can actually have a licensed benefits counselor walk you through the process, take all the information down for you. So that's an easy way to enroll. Uh, and then we also have our website where you can go on our website, on the NCRGEA website, and you can click on schedule an appointment. If you would like to schedule an appointment for a counselor to call you to enroll, you can just click that portal uh, through our, e our website and we can set up an appointment for you. There's also an online form submission through our website as well. You would complete the form online and that actually sends the form directly to me here in the office and then we will process the form. And last but not least, we have the mail or faxing in the forms that have been included in all these ways that we have communicated with you today. Um, you have those forms available. I did want to make a note, if the member ID number is not on any of those forms, you do not need to worry. We can enroll you without a member ID number. That won't be an issue at all. I thought it might be a good tip for us to review the enrollment forms in case you have any questions on how we enroll uh, you through these forms. As you can see in the beginning of the, on the top of the forms, you have listed the four ways to enroll. It's just a reminder that if you did not want to manually complete the forms, you have other options. And as you drop down, you see the information section. Okay, as you can see, the first line does talk about a member ID. Again, if you don't know yours, we will still be more than happy to enroll you. And it asks for all the information, your name, address, you know, the city, state, phone number, email addresses, etc. And then if you go to the right-hand side of the page, you will see that we have the actual box where you check off the uh, plan that you want to enroll in. As you can see, we have the high-level plan and the low-level plan that Laura so nicely detailed in her presentation. And uh, you can just check the box off of which plan you would like to enroll in. As you can see, we offer member only, member and children, member and associate, and I'll explain who an associate is later on. And then we also have member and spouse, and then we have member, spouse, and children. And again, you see the costs for each of those plans. Now, below that, in that other center section, is where you would list your dependents. So if you are choosing a plan where we are including dependents, or if you're using this form to make changes and you need to add or drop dependents, this is the space you would use to do that. And it's very important that you complete this information because if you check member and spouse as the level of plan, but you do not provide me with your dependents information, then I have to try to reach out to you and get that information before I can process the enrollment. So please, if you are aware that that is the options you want, please provide me with the information I need to get you enrolled correctly. And then below that is where you sign off about payroll deduction of your dues. Just a reminder, in order for our, our retirees to enroll, in dental and vision plans. It does require that you be a member of our association. And uh, we've provided that information about the dues uh, structures that's available to you through Mark III or through our, our website. And when you sign off the bottom, it acknowledges the fact that 
you are aware that we would deduct the dues from your retirement check as well as the premiums from your for your dental and vision coverage. Now also we have a copy of the superior vision form. It works a lot like the standard form. It has the information box on top, then it has the type of coverage you're selecting, and then it again has the space for you to either make changes where you're adding or dropping dependents, but it also has where you can terminate. Both forms does have a space that says, I want to terminate my coverage. So should you decide to terminate your coverage, please complete these forms and make sure that box is checked off and your signature is directly beneath it. All right, and then again on the bottom, it explains about the uh, dues deduction. I just wanted to let everyone know that uh, I mentioned about being an associate member. Should you have a spouse, a domestic partner, significant other who resides with you, they may join the associate as an associate member. The cost for that is $40 a year. That will provide them with all of the benefits that our members receive, including the $10,000 accidental death and dismemberment benefit. This is a benefit that we provide to all of our members, all of our dues paying or life members. Okay, should you die of an accidental cause, uh, this policy will pay $10,000 and in some cases, maybe even more if they are, uh, if there is a car accident and there's, you know, an airbag clause, etc. But this is available to both our members and our associate members. So this is just one of our wonderful benefits. Now, I'd like to illustrate the savings if you and a spouse are on the dental plan. So if you and your spouse rate is $107.48 a month, uh, your savings, should you have a member and associate rate, is $95.12 a month. That is a yearly savings of $143.52. So even after paying the $40 for that associate membership, you still come out ahead with a savings of $103.52. So that's quite a savings over the year. You also can get some savings if you're enrolled in the vision plan. The family rate for vision is $15.88. Member and associate rate for vision is $13.88. So as you can see, there is an additional savings of $22.80 a month. A year, excuse me. So again, uh, if you would, if your spouse or significant other would like to join our association, you can do that at, with an associate membership. You can do that two ways. You can call our office directly at 1-800-356-1190 and enroll over the phone and make a payment over the phone with a credit card or debit card, or you can download the associate enrollment form from our website and send it in with a check. We also have a PayPal option on our website. I'd like to make a little reminder, we do have a group of retirees who are what we call the ORP group. That's the Optional Retirement Beneficiary uh, and Beneficiary. So what is, if you have retired from one of the university systems and you are what we consider a direct pay retiree, it does require that you contact our office directly for enrollment. You cannot use Mark III uh, or the call center to enroll. So if you fall into one of these categories of being an optional retiree or a beneficiary of a member who is deceased and do not receive a retirement check, it is required that you contact us directly here and we'll definitely get you set up. Alrighty, I just would like to um, also let you know that um, we will be open to take some questions now.
All right, hang on a second. We do have some questions. Excellent. Uh, v Brown, I have a I have DSP for vision. Can I get superior vision? Which one would be the primary? Um, it a lot of that depends on where the VSP who the VSP vision is through. Um, and really, in the grand scheme of things, I don't know if it matters which one is primary because you're basically going to only get a benefit up to 100% of what you spent. So chances are that it doesn't really matter which one's primary. They're both going to pay part of it up to 100% maximum. Um, I know that's kind of a vague answer, but, but that's the best I can do based on the information I have. Okay. Uh, Phyllis Smith says, is payroll deduction the only option for paying for these plans? I can answer that. Um, if you are a retiree and get a check from the North Carolina Department of State Treasurer, then we prefer to pay for these plans via deduction from your retirement check. However, there are chances where often there may be situations where your retirement check is not large enough to handle the deductions or you are part of this optional retiree group or a beneficiary of a member who was a state retiree but you do not get a check. So there are other available ways to pay for these dental and vision plans, however they are conditional. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the price of the high dental plan uh, the high dental plan, if we're looking for member-only coverage, it is $47.76. Uh, again, high plan, member and children is $74.40. Member and associate, $95.52. Spouse, member and spouse, high plan, $107.48. And high plan, member, spouse and children, $133.68. Okay, I have a question here that says that their regular dentist is a periodontist. Is that my saying right? Uh, is he covered? So any, any dentist would be um, eligible to be covered under the plan. So just because they're a periodontist, yes, they could absolutely be covered. You could look online to see if they are in network or not. If they're out of network, you can still see that dentist. And it would be covered just like any other dentist out of network would be. Okay. And... Uh, one last thing, it says, can we get a copy of these slides? A lot of information to try and take in. I would suggest they come back and watch it on YouTube. Can they hear you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, in case you didn't hear that, I think that is a great opportunity. That's a good idea. We did record this on YouTube so that you could go back and watch. Mm -hmm. that's, that's all we have over here, gang. All right. If I could just interject one thing, uh, going back to that question about the periodontal coverage, mm -hmm. again, it would be a big help for members who do need periodontal service and have had that situation in the past, as Laura said, to establish the history. I have received phone calls from members who said, I thought the periodontal coverage you know, was there and it didn't pay anything. And then we had to go back and make sure that the uh, dental company got history on your periodontal situation. Once that was done, they paid with no problems. But it's important to get that established prior to. Yes, absolutely. And honestly, if the claim came in and we did not see that there was any periodontal history there, we would the claim would come back saying it was declined, but it would tell you that is the reason. And the dentist would also get a copy of that statement so that the dentist could then let us know. It just slows it down a little bit. Yeah. Um, definitely. Uh, a few other, I'm trying to remember, did I mention that the low plan did not have dental implants on it? I can't remember if I specified that or not. Okay. It was in the Good. slide that it had a big green circle. Good. <laughs> I'm thinking I forgot that. So if you are deciding between the two, dental implants are covered on the high plan and not the low plan. Also, we had talked about making sure that you're on a dental plan that pays for things like crowns, bridges, or dental implants before you have that tooth extracted. I really want to stress that yes. because that's a call that Josephine and I get quite a bit, wanting to know if they'll be able to get a dental implant to fill a tooth that's already missing. If you're thinking about doing that, make sure you join the plan before you have that tooth extracted. That would be for our plan or any plan out there because that tooth ex uh, exclusion is very, very common. So make sure you're looking into it. And if you are looking at other dental plan options, make sure you find out 
how and if they do cover things like a dental implant or even a crown or a bridge. Oftentimes low cost plans eliminate that part of the coverage which is how they keep their costs down but you want to make sure that that's not the plan you're on when you have the tooth extracted if you want to have that coverage. Thank you. Sure. Some great mm -hmm. information. Oh, well, they're, they're still popping up. Um, okay. okay. Great. great. Can a uh, spouse be added anytime other than open enrollment? That is a great, great question. We have what we call life events. So let's say you're a member and you're enrolled in dental and your husband is retiring from his place of business and he will be losing his dental coverage. That is a life event. Within 60 days of his retirement day, you must contact us and request to add him on. Uh, then we will be able to do that. But again, we do have life-changing events which will allow, and those, those are considered retirements, divorces, marriages, uh, adoptions, any of those life events will allow someone to add or even drop dependents other than open enrollment. Mm -hmm. Are dental guards such as for grinding teeth, are they covered? That is an excellent question I don't remember off the top of my head. Whoever asked that question, if you would email that question into the website, we can respond to that for you. Okay. And that's all I have. All right. Again, if you would like to, uh, if you think of a question, and we are off the air, uh, you, in, and you may go to our website, and we have an info a lot of click, and you can ask your question through the website, and someone here will respond to that email question or we can forward it to Laura or Tom and they'll be available to help us get that answer for you. If there are no other questions, we would really say like to thank you for joining us. As I said, this is our first webinar, first of many with uh, insurance products. I want to thank Tom Cheswick. You're very welcome. Thank you. Laura Duncan. Thank and you. Thank you all for attending. We hope you have a great day and happy enrollment.